Hey guys, Jacob here with Eat Pool Supply. Today, we've got a Pentair and Tell Center and we're gonna get it online connected to your cell phone from start to finish, stay tuned. All right guys, so we're back. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm actually gonna show you guys how to get the IntelliCenter control system online onto your phone. So first things first, this is IntelliCenter. Uh, make sure that you have this ingenious antenna mounted somewhere that has good Wi-Fi. If your phone does not have good Wi-Fi to your router, that means your ingenious probably won't either. So we recommend stand with your phone, make sure you get good connection to your internet. Uh, and then obviously get, get everything online. So first things first, what you're gonna wanna do is go to settings, Pentair user portal. You wanna make sure this web interface is on. And then next, what you're gonna wanna do is go down to advanced system configuration, network and Wi-Fi setup, connect to a wireless network. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get onto your local network. And that way you can make sure that you're connecting your antenna to your home home network. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in my password. And then what you'll see is it's gonna reboot the wireless network adapter, the event genius. So once this is done rebooting, then we can actually test it, make sure it's online. And what I can do is I can show you a little shortcut of how to test uh, your Intel Center as well to make sure it's online with your phone as well. So. We're back. So as you can see, uh, configure ethernet and actually attached an IP address now to the unit here. So it's 10.0.2.52 on our, on our local connection. Um, if you want to also test you, there's an internet connection test button. So you press that and it will actually tell you how good the connection is. So it's, it's going pretty quick. I mean, 22.748 milliseconds connection time. Um, another way to test too, a little cheater is I've got my app showed up, pulled up here. So what you actually do is when you're at this home screen, you see connect to a local pool, you press that green button and local systems will pop up. So it actually identifies any type of IntelliCenter on your local system. So as you can see here where it says IntelliCenter 10.0.2.52, just like we said earlier, that is on my local systems. So that is fantastic. Um, it's not connecting through the Pentair server currently because we haven't uh, done the configuration yet. So why don't we dive in and we're gonna go ahead back to our IntelliCenter control panel and do the configuration. So all I have to do now is click the back button, click the back again, and then I'm actually gonna go back down to that Pentair user portal. I'm gonna add new account. So as you can see, it's a, uh, you can edit everything here. So my property, you can kind of do whatever you want. My pool, email, this is gonna be your login email. So we're gonna change this to support at e pool supply dot com. Com, there we go. And then if you wanna update your name, your address, we're gonna kind of skim through here real quick. Phone number, that's not our phone, that's probably Pentair's phone number to be honest with you. 602-274-7946. Alternate email, we don't have an alternate email. So I'm just gonna delete that. So now it asks you to enter your password. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter in my password here. And you have to re-enter your password. And they require one capitalized uh, letter. So then press enter and it's gonna create me a new account. So when you create an account, you have to do it on this, on this IntelliCenter uh, for now. So it's kind of their stipulation there is that it's done on the IntelliCenter. You cannot create your user on the actual phone itself, unfortunately. So you log into my phone now. So now we're back over to the phone. So what we gotta do now is I typed in my credentials that I typed in on the IntelliCenter into my phone. So what I'm gonna do is my username and password are good, so I'm gonna click login. Let's see if this works. See how now it's picking up local systems plus remote systems. So if for some reason I'm out of network, like let's pretend I turn my Wi-Fi off. 
Let's see if that, see my local system now goes away, but I can still connect to my IntelliCenter remotely. So now what I can do is, what I may be able to do is a kind of screen share here. So if you go to, I'm gonna turn my bug zapper on. I press that button and my uh, IntelliCenter popped up with one feature there. So it's really, really instant. Right now I'm gonna press cleaner. And then waterfall high. Waterfall, pool light, waterfall low, go to pool, turn this on, let's turn the heater on to 104. So pretty cool. This thing is really responsive, which is really kind of neat. So we are currently online. And again, I'm out of network, so I could be in Spain and my pool's in the US and I could turn it all on from there. So uh, right now in this video, we, we show you guys how to get your IntelliCenter online and use the, uh, the web interface. So I'm Jake with the Pool Supply. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below and we got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.